Today, we're talking about Frequentinib 5 mg capsule. This medication is used to treat cancer of the colon and rectum. It belongs to a class of drugs known as kinase inhibitors, and it works by slowing or stopping the growth of cancer cells. The recommended daily dosage for Frequentinib is 5 mg, and it is typically taken once a day. It is best to take this medication at the same time every day for the best results. Always follow your doctor's instructions on how to take this medication. Before starting to take Frequentinib, it's important to read the patient information leaflet from your pharmacist. You should take this medication by mouth, with or without food, as directed by your doctor. Typically, it is taken once daily for 21 days, followed by 7 days off treatment. This treatment cycle should be repeated as long as directed by your doctor. It's important to swallow the capsules whole, and the dosage will depend on your medical condition and response to treatment. If you happen to vomit after taking a dose, do not take another dose. Instead, take your next dose at the regular time. It's important to use this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it, and it's recommended to take it at the same time each day to help you remember. Do not increase your dose or use this drug more often or for longer than prescribed. Doing so will not improve your condition any faster, and it will increase your risk of serious side effects. It's also important to note that since this drug can be absorbed through the skin and lungs and may harm an unborn baby, women who are pregnant or who may become pregnant should not handle this medication or breathe the dust from the capsules. If you experience diarrhea, hoarseness, or tiredness, it's important to tell your doctor or pharmacist. People using this medication may experience serious side effects, but your doctor has prescribed it because they believe the benefits outweigh the risks. Your doctor will monitor you closely to decrease your risk of side effects. Frequentinib may raise your blood pressure, so be sure to check it regularly. Let your doctor know if the results are high. Contact your doctor right away if you experience serious side effects such as easy bruising, swelling, signs of liver problems, slow wound healing, symptoms of a heart attack or stroke, pink or bloody urine, or signs of infection. Additionally, this medication can cause serious bleeding or a skin reaction called hand-foot skin reaction. Contact your doctor immediately if you experience any of these symptoms. It's important to seek medical help right away if you develop a headache that doesn't go away, seizures, sudden vision changes, or mental-slash-mood changes, as these could be signs of a serious condition called prez. While a serious allergic reaction is rare, seek medical help if you notice symptoms such as rash, itching-slash-swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. Keep in mind that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you experience anything unusual, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Before taking Frequentinib, make sure to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you have any allergies or if you are allergic to any of the inactive ingredients in the medication. It's important to discuss your medical history with your doctor, especially if you have any bleeding or blood problems, heart problems, current infections, high blood pressure, kidney problems, or liver problems. Frequentinib can increase your risk of getting infections or make current infections worse, so it's important to avoid contact with anyone who has a contagious infection like chickenpox, COVID-19, measles, or the flu. You should also talk to your doctor before getting any immunizations or vaccinations, and avoid contact with people who have recently received live vaccines. Be cautious with sharp objects and avoid contact sports to lower your risk of getting cut, bruised, or injured while taking Frequentinib. If you have surgery scheduled, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications and products you are using, as you may need to stop taking Frequentinib for a certain period of time before and after the procedure. If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, you should not handle Frequentinib or breathe in the dust from the capsules, as it may harm an unborn baby. Your doctor may order a pregnancy test before you start taking this medication, and both men and women using Frequentinib should inquire about reliable forms of birth control during treatment and for two weeks after the last dose. It is not recommended to breastfeed while using this medication, as it is unknown if the drug passes into breast milk and may pose a risk to the infant. Always consult your doctor before breastfeeding while using Frequentinib. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions with Frequentinib 5 mg capsule, as they can change how the medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription-slash-non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist.
Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with frequentinib 5 mg capsule include other drugs that can cause bleeding slash bruising, such as antiplatelet drugs, NSAIDs, and blood thinners. Aspirin can increase the risk of bleeding when used with this medication, but if your doctor has directed you to take low-dose aspirin for heart attack or stroke prevention, you should continue taking it unless your doctor instructs you otherwise. It's also important to be aware that other medications can affect the removal of frequentinib from your body, which may affect how frequentinib works. Examples include rifamycins, certain drugs used to treat seizures, and St. John's wort. If you have any concerns or questions about potential drug interactions with frequentinib 5 mg capsule, make sure to consult with your doctor or pharmacist for more details. If someone has taken too much frequentinib and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical attention. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. It's important not to share this medication with anyone else. Before starting and while taking frequentinib 5 mg capsule, you may need to undergo lab and or medical tests such as complete blood count, liver function, urine protein, skin exam, and heart function. Make sure to keep all your medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose of frequentinib 5 mg capsule, take it as soon as you remember if it has been less than 12 hours since your last dose. If it has been more than 12 hours, then skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the regular time. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When taking frequentinib 5 mg capsule, it's important to store it at room temperature and keep it away from light and moisture. Make sure to keep it out of reach of children and pets. Do not flush this medication down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. When it is expired or no longer needed, be sure to properly discard the product by consulting your pharmacist or local waste disposal company. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.